My concern is that those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. It wasn't that, we don't have to go back that far. We don't even have to go back earlier than 35 years to, turn, to look at what happened in Venezuela. When I graduated college in 1997, Venezuela was the third wealthiest country in the Western Hemisphere. United States, Canada, Venezuela. Venezuela was producing about 4 million barrels of crude oil per day. They had a thriving middle class. They were, if you went down to South America, one of the, one of the places you'd want to visit to witness the growth in 1998-1999, Hugo Chavez got elected. Democratically elected socialist. Hugo Chavez comes into Venezuela and in 2001 begins to nationalize programs. In 2000, by 2004, he had nationalized their energy industry. And I don't just mean electricity. He nationalized their grid, nationalized their education system, nationalized their oil and gas industry, all with a claim to the voters it was going to be free. By 2007, he had nationalized the healthcare industry. You know, today, Venezuela is not even in the top 50 wealthiest countries. They are number seven in Latin America. Literally, people in Venezuela today are starving to death because they don't have enough food to feed their people. 